it's hot out today. So today we're going to be harvesting uh, honey off of a few frames out of one of our hives. Um, this will be the first harvest we've got. I've got three hives going right now, but uh, only one of them's from last year and only one of them's really built up enough to harvest any honey off of. So uh, we're going to go try to do that. It's looking like rain out there, so we better get on it. Um, we, we don't have an extractor. Well, I'll talk about that in a minute. Come on, let's go, let's go get this done before the rain starts. Okay, so what we've got here, what we've got here is a stainless steel pot, this uh, two-part strainer, it's got two screens in it, one coarse and one fine. And what we're gonna do, it's called mash and strain. So I'll try to put this in a way that you can see it. Set that there, and using the bars, 
tie up. Using the bars, I'm just going to come down through here and cut off our caps. Look at that. That's nice. Can you see that? Just getting a little bit gummed up. All right, now if I have an ex had an extractor, this next part would be easier. What I'm going to try to do is, without tearing up the foundation, these are plastic foundation frames, I'm going to try to just scrape most of that honey down without tearing up our foundation. I'm going to get stuck on right there. By the way, my wife has been out of town for the past week. She's getting back tonight, and if I cover her kitchen in honey, it's not apt to be as a perfectly happy honey homecoming. <laughs> honey homecoming. Crack myself up. All right, that worked pretty well. One thing I didn't do is give myself some place to put my utensils after. I guess that would work. So let's turn this around and do the other side. I've got this little grill scraper tool, which is working really exceptionally well. But you could use something else. You could use a spatula. Or anything flat. Maybe a flat wooden scraper would work. And what I'll do you know, there's still quite a bit of honey here and quite a bit of wax. So what I'll do is, 
after I'm done tomorrow morning, I'll go set this out uh, close to the hives, but you know, not, not right near the hives because that can encourage robbing behavior. But uh, you know, 20 yards from the hives and let the bees clean up the equipment. They'll, they'll take whatever's left of that honey. And get some wax out of this too. camera in here and give you a bit of a close-up on this honey coming off if I can nope just slung a little bit of honey honey won't be happy Seems to me, no matter how careful you are, you're gonna get honey on you. And you're probably gonna get honey elsewhere as well. A little bit on the countertop.
release her back out. That's one of our heroes of today. Let's see if we'll focus this. Too close. Anyway, let's get her back outside. All right, I'll stir this up a little bit. And we'll probably take those frames back out to the bees. All right, it's not fully drained, but it's mostly drained. Let's see what we've got here. Let's see, can you see down in there? Not really. Oh. How much we got there? Well, you can't really see down in there, can you? I would say somewhere between three quarters of a gallon and a gallon. I don't know, maybe we'll find out before I close this video up. But uh, I'm gonna let this completely drain and I'm gonna get set up to start uh, rendering these cappings. Got a good bit of, uh, of wax there, but uh, Anyway, I appreciate you checking this out. If this is the end of the video, uh, thank you very much. If not, then I'll probably cut this out. And, uh, <laughs> sorry, then I'll probably cut this out mm, and put it at the end of the video. So if you want to see more of this, boy, that's good. If you want to see more of this, you can find all of our videos and content and how to how to's and instructions on how to do things at selfsufficientpath.com. Mm. Thank y'all.